Hey, what's going on guys? So, to make a long story short, today when we were out behind my brother's house putting in the makeshift bridges to cross the uh, creek in the swamp area with uh, the wheelers, I came across the remains of the turkey that I got last spring season. And I got some of the bones and I gathered some of the bones and I brought them home with me mainly because I find it really interesting and on top of that toss in a little amateur forensic science and I know exactly where my shot placed on this turkey and why he went down and really didn't flop around. Um, just to show a couple um, of the different bones this is actually um, part of the spine that still stayed fused together and everything that's on it is this mud and grass um, here's another vertebrae along with another one and then these two bones are definitely part of the wing bones I'm not really too sure uh, where they would fit in but they are extremely light and when you hit them together you can tell that they're hollow um, this might actually be out towards maybe the middle of the wing um, from what it looks like on the ends it was a really you know flexible joint and then we got uh, a longer bone I'd say it measures about uh, 11 and a half inches the drumstick and what is left of the skull with the eye sockets and then the brain cavity where the spinal cord would have went up in and then this is the breastbone okay now with the breastbone and this is if you see inside it's almost like a like a half pipe <laughs> for you know you guys that snowboard um, you know it's really would look like something would be housed on that bone and it would be this part right here and this is actually part of the spine and you can still see it's uh, fused with uh, kind of looks like a rib cage and then right there where the spinal cord would follow through this bone sits on top of this and there's a lot of other components that are missing so it's not going to really look that great but uh with knowing that structure and how it goes together it falls back onto people uh, that bow hunt for turkey. Um, instead of using the shotgun, they prefer archery and they use their bow. So any of you bow guys out there will know the next thing and have heard it probably time and again. And the saying when you're hunting turkey with a bow is if you hit them high, they die. If you hit them low, they go. Reason being, when a turkey is walking, their vitals are actually right under their back and they're up high. They're not lower in the body, um, say like any other big game animal, or uh, you know deer, coyote, bear, whatever. Their vitals are, you know, they're hanging lower. So, not to make it sound any more ridiculous than probably I already have, the main reason why I brought these bones back is so I could get a better look at them and see if there's any defining marks or bullet holes that would explain why, or not really why, but where I hit my turkey. Because when I hit him, he went down, feathers went flying, and the wing flapped twice, and there was no kicking. And today, my question was answered, and I figured it'd be really cool to show you guys and share the outcome. A little amateur forensic science, if you will. And the reason behind this is if you look at the top of this of his backbone, or backplate, whatever you want to refer to it as, you'll notice a bunch of little holes. Well, these are all number five shot size holes that went right into his vitals. Most of the load went right in into his back, high upper back, behind his head, and dropped them. And another really cool thing about this, and I can't believe it lasted this long and it stayed in. Okay, you'll notice one, two, and three. These are three marks from each pellet or BB, whatever you want to refer to it as, going into the bone, but not penetrating 
But the really interesting and a really cool thing about it is if you look right here at the end, and I'll see if I can get it right up close to the camera. It's a little rusty, but that is a number five BB pellet from a Federal Premium Mag Shock two and three quarter turkey shell. So I hit him right in his vitals and dropped him. No flopping, no nothing. And he came home on the dinner table and is now hanging up on the wall. Pretty cool. So figured I'd show that um, and share it with you guys. I found it to be really interesting and it finally answered my question of where I had hit him. I saw the feathers, but after doing a neck and a head check and he wasn't jelly headed, I wasn't really sure where I hit him. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this really interesting and cool like I did. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. As always guys, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you later.